Uh, Michael Steele, listening to this conversation this morning and uh, s surfing through the news last night and absorbing what happened yesterday in Mar-a-Lago, uh, I'm wondering about the search warrant. Uh, first of all, when a search warrant is issued, it's my understanding, a federal search warrant, the items looking, that they're looking for have to be listed on the search warrant. So it'll be interesting to get a peek at that if and when they do release the search warrant. But the second element here is what we began with, the anniversary of Richard Nixon's resignation from the presidency, an epic moment in American history, no doubt. But the important point now that becomes, I think, more important with today's reality is that Richard Nixon, despite what he had done, despite his criminality, he left office. We are now in the middle of an extended administration, a forever <laughs> administration, if you will. It will not go away. It does not go away. And it's bolstered in part by your former party, Joe's former party, the Republican Party, and especially the rhetoric issued last night and all day today, and as John Heilman pointed out on social media, Kevin McCarthy and a lot of other Republicans indicting the Justice Department rather than focusing on the criminality of a former president of the United States. I'm wondering what you absorbed from yesterday. Um, you know, uh, uh, the, the shock and awe of all of this doesn't really uh, impact on me the way I, it has some uh, who are, you know, profoundly moved by the historic moment of it. And, and certainly uh, it is important. What it says to me is, and it, you really put your finger on, uh, on several aspects of this, Mike, and one of them is how a party so craven and beholden, so out of step with reality and the American people, still clings desperately to a former twice impeached president of the United States who has been um, and continues to be under criminal investigation for his acts, his acts. We are here because Donald Trump has brought us here. And yet you have Kevin McCarthy and others uh, tripping over themselves to get in front of cameras to go after the Justice Department, the legal system. You have his minions out there declaring, um, as uh, our colleague and friend Ben Collins from NBC uh, News is reporting, uh, the dangerous rhetoric that is being fomented because of this, because of how Trump talks about a raid on his home. No, man, there was no raid on your home. You were asked to deliver documents that didn't belong to you. They belong to the people of the United States the, through the federal government. You refused to turn those documents over. A, a duly um, uh, developed and executed warrant was uh, put in place and agents came to your home to retrieve the documents. It's not complicated because anybody on this set had done the same thing, the exact same result would have occurred. And Kevin McCarthy would not be in front of a, you know, would not be putting out tweets and putting out papers, talking, telling the Justice Department, we, you know, get your act together, clear your calendar, we're gonna investigate you for, for doing their job. So yeah. that, that part of this for me, uh, Mike and Joe and Mika are, <clears throat> are an essential element here uh, that we've got to figure out how to work around because this thing that this GOP represents under its current leadership is now increasingly more dangerous than it's ever been. And that is, that is profoundly important to understand right now. You know why? Because they're fascists, like people that are making the threats, the people that helped Donald Trump on January 6th, the people that were talking about coming to, to D.C., that it was going to be crazy, that it was going to, wa going to be wild, they were going to charge the cap. They're fascists. And so they're making fascist threats, and we need to do what the United States has always done. Uh, we need to confront fascism and, and defeat it. So everybody that's freaking out over fascists being fascists, well, guess what? That's what fascists do. That's why we have law enforcement to actually bring fascists to justice. So please don't run around with your hair on fire and say, oh, my God, 
we can't actually enforce the laws of our land. We can't actually protect classified documents because fascists may get upset on a TV show. That's what they mm -hmm. do. And, you know, it's so interesting, Michael Steele, just like a week or two ago, because the attacks from the Republicans on the FBI had stopped for a little while, I, I actually I, I wrote something thanking the FBI for their service to America and expressing shock that my former party had spent the fat past five years after being staunch defenders of the FBI my entire adult life, trashing the FBI because they nominated somebody who had so little respect for the rule of law. But here we are again. We've got Republicans again slandering the FBI, just like we have Republicans who claimed to support the blue, mm -hmm. would, would fly flag supporting the blue, and yet they trashed Capitol Hill cops, accused them of being actors, of being drama queens, when they almost died, several of them almost died, and a couple actually did die after January 6th, and their family certainly thinks it's related. So they attack cops on Capitol Hill when a fascist attempt to take over the Capitol uh, it fails. Uh, they attack military heroes, and they have for the past several years. They've attacked military heroes and the head of America's military for yeah. not being sufficiently loyal to the fascist president in his attempt to launch a fascist takeover of American democracy. Fox News, my God. They even say, Fox News actually says that the United States military uh, was going to bring helicopters from Afghanistan that they used on terrorists in Afghanistan to attack Americans who voted for Donald Trump. This is where they are. Yep. And, yep. And, and the fact that people, uh, weak people, are running around going, oh, what are we going to do? They're saying ugly things on Fox News. Like, what do you expect? Like, this guy's going to be brought to justice. He's broken the law. Everybody knows that. So why are they freaking out? I don't come from the Obi-Wan Kenobi school of, of, of political theory, strike Trump down and he only becomes stronger. No, I right. don't believe it. You no. break the law, you go to jail. Go to jail. Let me say yep. it in America, <laughs> in America, and our former Republican <laughs> brothers and sisters need to understand this. In America, mm -hmm. even in the age of Trump, no man is above the law. Michael Steele. <laughs> Amen, brother. I can't. I, I can't. I can't say better than that. And I just. I just put a, a a coda on that, Joe. This is the question for Kevin McCarthy. So, what is your what is your response to the Trump influencers, the Trump acolytes, and the Trump supporters out there? who are tweeting, tomorrow is war, sleep well. Mm -hmm. So if something comes on the heels of this, Mr. McCarthy, because you've now tried to indict the, the, the FBI through your particular postings, telling them to get their, you know, clear their calendars and keep all documents. Well, they do, because unlike Trump, they know what the law requires them to do. They're not going to try to put this uh, this warrant in a box and put it in a closet somewhere for no one to see. So what's going to be your response if these idiots go out and start uh, showing their behind and acting up in a violent manner? Are you going to take responsibility then for, for from your tweets and the, your posture? Because that's what Joe's talking about. Because when you think you are above the law, or more importantly, support someone you believe to be above the law, this is the consequence and the result. So you don't get to walk away from this because you put out a press release and you know you got MAGA world just so, oh, Kevin, great, wonderful, thank you, Kevin. No, you are in leadership, duly elected, and you're now responsible for the actions that come on the heels of your rhetoric, your actions, and Trump's and his supporters. You ready for that? because that's the America you're signing up for. Tomorrow is war, sleep well. Wow.